what I'm looking to do for my water lines for the turbo is take it off these heater pipes. The turbo doesn't care which way around the water flows, so it doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do, I've got some bits to tee into these, and then I'm going to go across the bulkhead and into the turbo like that. So I've got loads of fittings, let's dive into it. As always, there's mess everywhere, but let's have a look. So, we've got the two uh, water hoses. So I've got these 16 mm um, pieces that can go into each line. So, so I can take off those. I've then got, and all these bits are listed in the uh, spreadsheet. I've then got some 45 degree, I'm oh, sorry, 90 degree. Do it all the way up, but you get the idea. These are swivel, so the pipe goes up a bit like that. It's going to follow that and go across the bulkhead. Then on the other end, I've got you've really got these out of the bags first. I've got these fittings to go into the side of the turbo, as well as copper washers. So the washer to go on there. I've got some stainless steel hose clips these are 24 26 they are i believe to go on the hose there because hose is pretty chunky some nice stainless ones there i don't like jubilee clips um it's just a pet hate of mine so you can get these mini clips they're called mini clips i think this is about the biggest they go they only have a short range but in my eyes they look a lot nicer than jubilees so those, that's that's kind of what's going on i now need to cut into the heater hose and uh, put in something like that. I think I might um, do my uh, taper thread into these first, get them ready, because that swivels around, I can do whatever you want. So that's great. Probably put the writing at the back, because I don't really like it. And uh, see how it goes. So I'm working on um, the water feeds to the turbo. This is your heater hoses. At the moment, I can't remember, or I don't know which one's hot and which one's cold. Um, in theory it doesn't matter but there is some literature on, on, on basically clocking the turbo slightly and having the cold feed coming up from the bottom so I do want to work that out but anyway so what I've got is I've uh, put together my 16 mil um, hose joiner pieces I'll put the specs of these up it's some kind of taper thread I can't remember what it is um, and then this is a swivel joint with an AN6 fitting. So what I did is I just obviously put some masking tape around the size of this body because I wanted to cut that section of the pipe out. So cut that section of the pipe on both sides out. Already done this one, put my stainless steel clips on. Like I said before, they are 24 to 26 mil. They do do up, they're going quite tight, but they're, they're all right. And then this, I'm angling that when the hose goes on to go across the engine bay like that. So I've done that one up like that. So let's get these. Remember to put your Jubilee clip on around the right way. Don't want it that side because it'd be fouling. And then they have just been as easy as pushing in like that. Get the other Jubilee on the other hose. Push that one down. This is snug. So just want to see kind of what angle I kind of want to send it across a bit like that one I can undo this again in the future but if I send it across like that hopefully it will go neatly through here and along the back section when I ordered some uh, hosing stuff I ordered finally ordered a Jubilee um, screwdriver I've uh, been working on cars a long time and it's about time I got one. So, as you can see, it's pouring with rain. I have a summer sunshade above me. <laughs> Don't know how long it's going to be waterproof. Just trying to get a few more jobs done today. That one's that one. Let's get this one up here. Maybe these hose clips on one size too big, maybe, but they're working out.
Right, so and like I've said this is swivel, so I can angle that or whatever, but it's mainly going to go off in the same way. Might bring that one up a bit, but not an issue at the moment. But I think that's pretty neat on the how to get your water feed. Some people muck around with the um, crocker body and things like this. Oh, I'm not going there and just doing this. I think it's a nice, neat way of doing it. It's also quite easy to get to um, rather than fumbling down here with lots of things. So. Um, yeah, now the job's done. Um, obviously this is the turbo. You've got a water in and a water out. So you've got these two water lines. You've got the oil feed coming to the top of the turbo there. And what I, I've never had a turbo before, so you, you learn from experience. When I was playing around with something recently, I, I saw water just dripping out of um, this fitting here. And I was having to think about you know what, what the issue is there. And because they're it's not a fixed fitting. I actually found out there's uh, there's O-rings inside these AM fittings, and obviously, you know, the the fittings right on the side of the turbo is getting absolutely cooked. So, what's probably happened is the O-rings starting to fail. So, really, you don't want um, these type of sort of swivel fixings um, next to the turbo. So, in preparation for fixing it, because you know you don't want that to burst when you're out and about. These were a set of Mamba pipes. Um, they didn't do any fittings to go into the turbo that were the right size for mine, but I've actually got, um, I've got, that's fine, I've got one that I've got both fittings, so I don't need that. I was really doing it just for these lines. And these lines, um, so they're crimped, and then obviously they're, they're a solid bend. There's no O-rings, there's no rubber in it. So basically I'm gonna make up feed that into uh, the lines there and the lines there and hopefully that will take out so this is a end it's an an thread here so it should go straight onto my turbos there it's a 3 8 barb on the end so they did ones in half inch or 3 8 or the, the hose i'm running um is 3 8 8 mil that type of thing so that's that's what i want to do so what i'm going to do today is i've got the length there so hopefully the join i'm going to have to do is kind of hidden at the back of the engine I'm going to cut the um, the original hose, obviously splice it onto here, get it connected up to the turbo, and um, take out this weak point that I've now um, figured out. So what I need to do is I'll have to update the turbo spreadsheet um, with these changes, um, because obviously you won't be needing these connectors, and you want a kit like this to uh, get around the problem. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. So as it stands at the moment, I've had to clock the turbo quite a bit that way to get the drain, otherwise I wouldn't be able to even get to the drain of fitting on there. So um, the way I was going to do the whole drain has changed. So yesterday I had issues not only with the drain, but also with the distance um, on this side. So I couldn't get one of these fittings on this side. It's just too tight. So I've ordered a completely new type of drain setup. So I've ordered those parts. I've ordered a um, M12 by 1.5 banjo fitting. So basically it will have a bolt going in there and the banjo has an AN6 fitting on the end and it will poke up and then I'm gonna put that on there and go that way. So that's a work in progress. And obviously alley on alley means they don't scratch up as much. Anyway, right, so, so what I'm gonna do I'm going to put the new one on and then that is going to set my um, length. Let's get this thread started. It's the right one, which is always uh, positive. Right, so that's, that's good. So I'm going to want that around about there. and that's just a little bit lower to get away from that fitting. So now I've got the same to do on this one. Undo this hose. Okay, so this is this one. So that's obviously the difference, these can swivel, but obviously there must be some kind of seal in there, O-ring I've been told, and that's what failed, and that's what these aren't. So obviously if you're ordering these kind of kits, 
you kind of want to position your turbo and everything in the right place and then work out what fittings because you can get banjos on here because this down here is a banjo fitting with an AN6 thread on it so I'm going to be able to come straight out like it was before like I say making it sound like it's easy ok there's the thread start so that's, that's where it's going to be a bit of tape in there now I know that, I'm going to take this off again because I'm going to have this off when I try and get it into this. Um, I'm going to saw out again, however you're cutting it off. Okay, so I've now got my heat uh, wrapping on there. Now for my next trick, I'm going to be able to get this into here. Alright, let's use a bit of fairy up liquid. Haven't got fairy. I'm sure other brands are fine. That is not right. Okay. Now, because these are fixed, I do want to get this on the turbo in the right plane before I. Okay, I've just tweaked my banjo up a little bit. Go back to uh, putting this in the hose on. Very hard to get to, you've probably just got the size of my arm. Right. Okay. That's there. That all seems to be fitting in nicely, so let's remember to do this hose clip up. Right. So, there we go. So we're having those leaky ones beforehand. I've now got solid metal here, nothing to perish, nothing to leak. Um, and then joined at the back into my uh, heater matrix and this is just a, a, a new section here so yeah looks like it's gone really well looks quite smart probably discolor and the heat but yeah looks good